Crystal with Pierre, and just really fast I wanted to show you a quick tip on how I sharpen rings in Camera Raw, Adobe Camera Raw, and a little tip or trick that will help you focus that sharpening on just the ring. So right here we have our ring, and I'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Get my zoom tool and zoom in just a little bit. And I'll come over to this little triangle looking thing It says detail, and I'll click that. And right here you have just your standard sharpening that it applies to your photo. But I want to focus a little bit more sharpening on that ring so it pops out a little bit more. And so I'm going to do things a little exaggerated so you can see exactly what I'm doing um, and the tools that I'm using. And so on the um, Mac keyboard, you're going to hold down the Option button. It's also the, I believe it's the Alt button on the Windows keyboard. And so once you hold this down and then you move the sharpening, you can actually see more of what it's doing. So I'm going to, if you bring down the sharpening and then put it up to 100%, you can see exactly what it's doing. But it's also affecting the rest of the image, and that's what I don't want. I don't want all of this to be sharpened. And the radius here, if you hold down the Alt, the Alt or the Option button, you can see that it is focusing more on these edges um, and it's almost glowing. You can see where there's a little bit of white, kind of a glow. And if you lower this, it's focusing more on, on just like actual edges. It's not like glowing as much. So I'll put it right about there. And then the detail, the same. So the lower the detail number, the less like little details it's focusing on. It's focusing more on just the big edges. And as you raise that, it's focusing more on the little details. So for rings, I like to bring this up a little bit higher so I can get, especially when she has like little diamonds like that, I like to do that. And now it's going to look crazy because you can see, like if you look around the edges here, it's all sharp and crunchy looking. And this is my favorite tool, this masking tool. So again, hold down the option or the alt. In Photoshop, remember white reveals black conceals when it comes to layer masks. And it's the same concept here. Right now it's showing it's all white, so it's applying the sharpening to everything. So as you start to drag it over, you start to get some gray and black. And as you drag it over more, it is focusing more on the edges. And so I can focus my sharpening more onto the edges of that ring. And so if I let go now, it's not, fo it's not as much on the rest of the image. There's still some edges here. Obviously I over exaggerated the sharpening. Um, so you could see, but just look at this. So this is before and this is after, and it's just focusing mainly on the ring and some of these edges here. So if I zoom out, I can use my brush tool. Actually, let me zoom out just a little bit more. Use my brush tool and I'll go ahead and lower the sharpness and lower the clarity. And then I will brush on around the ring be careful not to grab the actual ring itself. But then that takes away some of the uh, sharpening that was left on these edges. And it leaves the sharpening on the ring. And so I'll come over here and let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see. And so here we have before and here we have after. And just look at how that ring pops now and everything else is soft and it brings the focus into that ring right there. And then you could do some noise luminance, a little bit of color, and this is the before and the after. But if you just look at how much more that ring pops, it's perfect. And then as you zoom out, it looks great. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the full, yeah, so that's before and after. And you can see how much, like, how soft the flowers are around the ring and how it brings the focus straight into um, the ring. And then you can just do your normal editing. So I probably, not raise the clarity, sorry, raise the vibrance a little bit and the saturation a little bit. Um, and maybe lower the blacks a little bit, but really this image is pretty good to go. Um, I might bring it into Photoshop and clean up this a little bit. Um, especially since I know that this is probably going to be an image that gets put into her album. But that is that quick tip and trick on how to focus sharpening on just the ring.